Hello, welcome to Vietnam Journal, our daily English news bulletin on Netflix VTC10. I'm Anya speaking from Hanoi. Every day we we'll bring you comprehensive and up-to-date information on Vietnam. And following our major stories on Thursday. Japan tops foreign investors in Vietnam. EU-funded project supports Vietnam in energy efficiency. Australian Foreign Minister visits Strategy Restaurant in Hanoi. Japan took the lead among the 26 countries and territories, investing in Vietnam with new project totaling 2.3 billion US dollars in the first quarter of this year. The figure accounted for 88.8% of the total foreign direct investment in the nation during the period. In the last three months, several giant Japanese FDI projects were licensed. The most prominent was Tokyo Binzung Garden City project in the southern province of Binzung, worth 1.2 billion US dollars. Other projects include Bridgestone Tire Factories, 574.8 million US dollar project in the northern port city of Haiphong, and Oshima Shipbuilding Limited Company's project in the central province of Hanghua, costing 180 million US dollars. And following some other economic news in brief. Korea and Vietnam will boost financial cooperation in the near future for the fields of infrastructure and financial market reconstruction. This information has been announced by Dong Su Kim, president of Korean Asian Bank, in a meeting with Vietnam's finance ministry's representative on Tuesday. Korea will also focus on funding through compact loans for projects on health care development, education and training, green development and climate change, among others. Businesses of central Hà Tĩnh province of Vietnam and Thailand's northeastern Nakhon Phanom province recently signed seven agreements on investments. The signing took place in Vietnam's Cochea Border Gate Economic Zone on March 26. On this occasion, leaders of the two provinces also pledged to promote cooperation in education, traffic, trade and tourism. Accordingly, Hà Tĩnh and Nakhon Phanom will speed up the connection of traffic routes and create favorable conditions for bilateral trade exchange. The first batch worth 185 million US dollars has been released on March 27th. These are the five-year bonds without security assets with a coupon rate of 5% capitalized every six months. However, these bonds have been listed immediately at the Singapore stock market. Vietnam Technological and Commercial Joint Stock Bank or Techcom Bank has earned the title of the best emerging market bank in 2012 in Asia, presented by the Global Finance Magazine. The bank has surpassed other local banks in meeting all the criteria set by the jury. Last year, Techcom Bank made a pre tax profit of 202.7 million US dollars, up 53.2% year on year. Finding effective solution to save energy in production is now a major concern of Vietnamese businesses, especially the small and medium side. VTC10 reporter recently had a conversation with Mr. Remco Van Staffershoff, project manager of Miss Beast Project, funded by the European Commission. The project is aimed to promote energy efficiency through supporting enterprise development in Vietnam. Hello, Mr. Remco, and thank you for joining our talk today. MIPBIS project aims to promote energy efficiency through business innovation support in Vietnam. Which businesses and industry does the project focus on? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a good question uh, to, to, to start. Uh, what, what is MIPBIS uh, uh, project in the first place? And uh, the MIPBIS project is one of uh, uh, the projects funded by the European Union. And the European Union uh, has uh, set up a program to support uh, switching Asia into sustainable production and uh, consumption. And the European Union has many projects in Asia and uh, the Meatbiz project is one uh, of several projects in Vietnam. And uh, Meatbiz stands for mainstreaming energy efficiency through business innovation support. So what we do is we try to uh, work together with technology suppliers of energy and water saving products to uh, help them 
promote their products to small and mid-sized enterprises. And say which industries, well that would be uh, focused on the garment uh, sector, the food processing sector, the hotels and office buildings and the restaurants. What do you think of the opportunities and challenges in implementing this project? Uh, well, uh, there are many opportunities uh, as um, uh, there's a lot of work to do be done on uh, energy efficiency and uh, climate change. Uh, uh, I think that uh, Vietnam, Vietnam and the Vietnamese people, they are aware of the energy shortages and they are aware of uh, climate change, so I think that is a, a good uh, signal. Uh, but uh, it's all about how uh, can you contribute, what are the solutions. So, uh, and uh, we are very happy to see that we actually come up with possible solutions provided for the small and mid-sized enterprises. In the end, Meatbiz does not sell products, technology suppliers have to sell products, and Meatbiz doesn't buy products, that's the Vietnamese small and mid-sized enterprises they have to buy. So that's the challenge that if I, uh, if I could buy and sell, I would do it, but I'm not, and uh, it's uh, the SME that has to make the investment decisions. How do you assess on the progress of the project so far? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to see uh, a lot of engagements uh, from uh, different uh, stakeholders and enterprises. Uh, we work together with uh, uh, governmental uh, departments and uh, with uh, associations uh, and together also with uh, non-profit organizations that we together work on promoting uh, energy efficiency solutions and water saving uh, 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 solutions. Um, so, um, so I, I'm very also very happy to see that uh, small business enterprises really get engaged. They really come also to our seminars and uh, they're showing a willingness and an interest in it. So I'm very pleased to see that. But, you know, it's, a, it's a still a long way to go. Through the organization of SEMNA to introduce the projects, how do you assess on the interest as well as the cooperation of Vietnamese enterprises participating in this project? Yeah, like I said, well, they, 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 they come to our seminar, so that is a very, uh, I think, uh, promising uh, sign. Uh, and so they are interested, they are willing. Uh, but of course, the, the, the small business enterprise, the manager, they, they're coping with many topics uh, in daily life. Uh, they have to manage the business and they have to uh, uh, create new business and they have to uh, organize. And uh, so uh, energy efficiency and water savings is one of the many topics they are uh, working on. So uh, what we are uh, trying to do is put it uh, higher on the agenda. Uh, the willingness is there, the interest is there. Uh, uh, but we have to uh, hope now also that the investments will be there. Thank you very much for joining us. Vietnam Journal. It's not just news, it's life in Vietnam. Welcome back to News Bulletin. Australian Foreign Affairs Minister Senator Han Bok Kar visited the Chinese at the Kodo Van Mil restaurant in Hanoi on Wednesday. The restaurant is a charitable organization run by the Vietnamese Australian activist. At the meeting, Australian Foreign Affairs Minister Senator Han Bok Kar talked to trainees as well as a group of Australian Hanoi-based volunteers. Koto trainees were honored to have the opportunity to meet the minister. This was his first visit to Vietnam, hoped to bring a new supporters to help Koto. Koto is a non-profit hospitality training organization. It was established by Jimmy Pham and has trained over 300 disadvantaged Vietnamese youth in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. The Australian Foreign Minister also met his Vietnamese counterpart during his official visit to Vietnam. Senator Carl affirmed that Vietnam is emerging as one of the Australian's more important partners in the Asia-Pacific region. Moving on to some other stories. Two former Manchester United famous players met Vietnamese fans on Tuesday in Ho Chi Minh City. The event was a part of a global tour introducing the 19 Premier League trophy worn by the Manchester United club. The two Manchester United legends, Dennis Irwin and Gordon McQueen, warmed up the meeting room with their coveted 19th Premier League trophy. Owen was named as one of the league's best defenders. He made over 500 appearances for United in an epic career and won many different titles. McQueen was known as one of the bravest defenders with his no-nonsense defensive style and monstrous a real prowess. 
During this event, Vietnamese fans took pictures with the trophy and received signatures from the club legends. Bamboo trees has become an important part of Vietnamese people's lives for a long time. There is a bamboo craft village located in the country's 1,000-year-old capital city. Let's follow our net with VTC10 reporter to explore this village not far from the center of Hanoi. Thu Hong Village, now called Thu Thuy Village, lies in Saxon District, Hanoi. Located on the river bank, Thu Hong Village is embraced by bamboo clumps, one of the unique characteristics of northern Vietnam villages. Years ago, people in the village used bamboo to make household tools such as baskets, bins, tables, chairs and beds. Tôi theo cái nghề này từ năm 16 tuổi. Lúc bây giờ như vậy là tôi vừa đi học, vừa làm bởi vì trong gia đình như vậy là bố mẹ vẫn đang làm cái nghề tre này. Lúc bây giờ là làm giường, đục giường, đục chẳng kỷ, bàn ghế, các thứ để mang đi ra chợ bán. Cách đi to make a perfect bamboo product, it requires the craftsman to be skillful and aesthetic. Finding suitable materials is also a demanding stage. With a bamboo tree, a carpenter can use it for different purposes. The body of the bamboo tree could be used to make a bed, a chair. The hand of the bamboo tree could be used to make ornamental objects. Two home carpenters have unique workmanship that is not easily learned. They can carve skillfully with their hands without breaking the bamboo. Every person in this village has been proud of their house building technique that was one famous around the northern Vietnam. Nếu mà làm được theo vào nghề thì phải năm bảy năm. Lúc bây giờ như vậy là phải là theo nghề liên tục. Còn tùy theo, tức là cái người mà sáng ý, tay bàn tay khéo léo thì có thể là 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 hai mươi ba hay bốn tuổi là có thể đã cũng đã đứng lên kho cả rồi. There was a time of around ten years when the tradition of carpentry in Thu Hong fell into oblivion. When modern society is flooded with wooden plastic products, bamboo products are gradually forgotten by people. It was said that Thu Hong's tradition would be on the verge of extinction. But after that, with a lot of efforts, elderly people in Thu Hong village has set up the Thu Hong Kabachi workshop, which has gradually restored the tradition of this village. Thu Hong Bamboo Village has been restored day by day and become famous again. For the recent years, bamboo products are both for family use and for decoration, as well as building ancient houses. To home carpentry tradition's power has been confirmed after 300 years of development. The story about the bamboo craft village has wrapped up our news bulletin for today. For comments and feedbacks, please send an email to nevidaily at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.